Carolyn. Hey, how have you been? I've been meaning to ask about the dress I lent you a month ago. It's a bit of a pricey one, and I was hoping to get it back. Dress? What are you talking about? I don't recall borrowing anything from you. Are you sure you've got the right person? No, I'm pretty certain. I lent you a stunning little black dress last month when you mentioned needing something for a friend's wedding. Remember, you said you'd always wanted to rock a dress like that. So I thought, why not? Honestly, I have no recollection of that. I wore my own dress to the wedding, not a borrowed one. Are you sure? It was just last month. You kind of forgotten already. I've got another wedding next month, and I was hoping to flaunt that dress. Could you at least check your wardrobe? Maybe it slipped your mind, but I am sure I lent it to you. I can't look for something I don't even remember borrowing, and I have no idea what it looks like. Can't you take my word that I didn't borrow any dress from you? I described it. Remember, it's a little black dress with gems all over it. You mentioned not having any black dresses, so it should stand out. Did you misplace it? If so, just tell me about it. Hold on a second. More importantly, who's tying the knot? You're really going to a wedding? Why would I make that up? It's a college friend. She's getting hitched. Seriously? People your age are still getting married? No way. <laughs> That's pretty amusing. What's that supposed to mean? Is there an expiration date for tying the knot? There's no limit. But, I mean, don't you think it's kind of embarrassing? You're too old to get married. Don't you have any shame? If it was me, I wouldn't have a ceremony and get it over and done with quietly. I never imagined someone over thirty would want to have a ceremony and show off how old they were when they get married. I don't think it's embarrassing at all. Thirty-three isn't old to get married nowadays. If anything, I think it's becoming the norm for people to settle down and have kids in their thirties. And why should someone put off having a ceremony because they're too old? Most people want to share their happiness with their friends and family. Really, I think twenty-five or twenty-seven is a better age to have a wedding. Getting married and having kids should be done before you turn thirty. Otherwise, it's just cringe. Thirty-three just screams that you were late to the party. It lets everyone know that you couldn't find anyone to marry you until you got old. <laughs> I disagree. Besides, your brother and I had our wedding ceremony last year, and I don't think there was any problem. Everyone was really happy for us. Well, Ken has the same DNA as me and looks young, so he looked good in his suit. But you were a sorry sight, Elizabeth. I never thought someone could look so ugly in a wedding dress. I think everybody had a hard time telling you you look beautiful because it really wasn't true. Everyone was gossiping about how old you looked. <laughs> how rude can you get? Don't you think before you speak? Why would you ruin my memories of the happiest day of my life like that? Oh, I'm so sorry. I can't help but say what I think. But I think it's better that you know the truth. You shouldn't run away from reality. You know, you are what you are. You're old. Everyone tells me that honesty is my best quality. So you should think so too. Honesty and just being plain rude are completely different things. There are some things you should keep to yourself, even if you think it's the truth, for other people's sake. Really? What a pain in the ass! Old people are so noisy about the tiniest things. Just get over it. Old people? Are you talking about me? Yeah. Who else? You're the only one that's annoying me right now, and you're much older than I am. Face it, you're old. I'm only seven years older than you. You think that's old? Then you'll be old in no time. I'm still thirty-three, and I still have a long way to go before I can think of myself as old. You mean you're already thirty-three? That makes you an old woman. I'm surprised you're not embarrassed by how old you are. You should be more aware of your age. If you're not conscious of your age, that means you're not acting it. Don't you know that there are certain things that you should and shouldn't do when you get old, like have a wedding, for example? Why should I? There's nothing I feel embarrassed about, and we shouldn't have to feel embarrassed because we're getting older. It's a natural process. If you can't accept that, you're going to have a tough time in the near future. They say that ignorance is bliss, after all. <laughs> Good for you. But just letting you know, everyone around you is probably cringing. I don't care. I see. There's no point in trying to change your attitude. 
Could you please return my dress? I'd be wanting to wear it, and it's only fair that it's returned to me since it belongs to me. Come on now. Yeah, sure. I'll look for it when I get the time. So you do have it, after all. Why not just say so from the start? Why lie about not remembering me lending it to you? It would have been so much simpler if you just admitted you borrowed it. You're making everything unnecessarily complicated. And what do you mean you have to look for it? I hope you haven't misplaced it or lost it. You really should be more careful with things that aren't yours. Relax. It's around here somewhere. It'll pop up. You're stressing out for nothing. <laughs> Ken mentioned you're not great at keeping your life in order. Are you certain you know where it is? I've said repeatedly. It's an expensive dress. I entrusted you to take good care of it. I don't recall that. Maybe you should have been clearer. It'll be fine. It's somewhere in my room. You don't sound very sure. If you can't find it, maybe I should ask your mom. What? Why involve my mom in this? She's busy. She won't be searching for your dress. Why are you being so self-centered? Not everything revolves around you and your dress, you know? Show some consideration. Look who's talking. You're the one who hasn't returned the dress you borrowed from me a month ago. You're the one being selfish and inconsiderate here. And you're not even sure where it is. Unbelievable. You have no right to talk to me like that. Blah, 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 whatever. You're really annoying. Even if you get your dress back, do you really think you can wear it? You've gained a lot of weight recently. You won't look as good as I did in it. So maybe I should keep it. Oh, wait. Are you knocked up? Is that why you're so fat? <laughs> yeah, I'm pregnant. But why does that matter? It doesn't mean you get to keep my dress. If you want one, go buy it. Plus, we already told you we're going to have a baby weeks ago. Did you? I don't remember at all. I just thought you got fat. You weren't exactly slim to begin with. No, we already told you. You were there when Ken and I went to your parents' house to announce the pregnancy. You lived there, but there's no way you wouldn't have found out even if we didn't tell you directly. But we did. I can't believe you're pregnant at that age. That's even more hilarious. You're not even listening to me now. So why am I surprised you weren't listening when we told you? So what's funny about it? It's practically an old age pregnancy. Aren't you worried? There must be so many complications for a woman of your age to give birth. Why would you do that to yourself? You're just exaggerating because you think everyone older than you is an old woman. That doesn't make me unfit to have a baby. Please stop being so rude or I'm gonna tell your brother. I'm starting to lose my patience with you. But I'm not even being that rude. I'm just telling you like it is. You should be grateful. You're so sensitive. Be careful you don't get a heart attack. Grandma, I'm worried about you. Well, you don't have to worry that much. I'm taking care of myself just like any other pregnant woman would. I'm aware that the risks do change as women get older, but that doesn't mean you can ridicule me for wanting children. If you say so, but I'm surprised that you would actually want children at that age. Personally, I wouldn't want to take the risk. Is that so? Well, each to their own. Everyone has a different idea of how and when they want children, and whether women have children or not is completely up to the individual. I won't lecture you about how you would start to settle down and have kids yourself, but I just want you to know that I'm currently pregnant. You should be a bit more careful and watch what you say. You're always like this, out of control. You always have something horrible to say. You know exactly how to push a person's buttons. What? I should watch what I say? I've only stated the truth. What do you want me to say? You can't deny that you're more of an old woman than I am. And it's true that you're way too old to have a baby. <laughs> but it's a shame that so many women are like this. There's always someone that acts like that when they're pregnant. Acts like what? You were going on about... How you're pregnant and acting like you're better than me because of it? Women like you like to lord it over other women that they're going to have a baby. What? I don't think that at all. I didn't say anything like that. But you do, and you do. You said, I wanted to know that I'm pregnant and told me that I should watch what I say, remember? You think you can tell me what to do? I don't know who you think you are. But you're not my boss, so you can't talk to me like that. That wasn't my intention. I meant I'm pregnant, 
so you shouldn't push my buttons, and that you should be a little bit more considerate. In fact, not just to me, but to everyone around you. Anyway, please stop changing the topic. We need to talk about my dress. Just like I told you, when you ask to borrow it, if it's been damaged or lost, you'll have to pay for it. I warned you before I lent it to you, and I've waited patiently for you to return it. So I think that's only fair. What? You want me to pay for it? I'm not paying for anything. Why should I? For family. You can't force me to. There's no reason why I should listen to you. What do you expect? How many times do I have to repeat myself? It's an expensive dress. I made myself really clear when you asked to borrow it that it was from an expensive brand and one of my favorites. I have. I don't want to lend it to you in the first place, but you were really insistent that you wanted to wear it. I only lent it to you under the condition that it would be for one day, and you promised me that you would pay for it if there was any damage. But it's already been a month. You sound unsure of where it even is. And you've conveniently forgotten about the promise you made. Even you must realize how irresponsible you're being. Anyone would agree with me when I say that you're really lacking in common sense. Usually, this is where people apologize for taking so long to return something, and explain why if they have a good reason. If not, that at least offer to reimburse me. If you really didn't want to lend it to me, then you should have said so. That's your own fault, Elizabeth. Don't lend things you can trust other people with. It's that simple. That's why I told you no so many times. I didn't want to lend you that dress, but you just insulted and guilt tripped me like you usually do, and then went crying to your mother. In the end, I had to lend it to you because your mother told me to. You forced me. <laughs> I knew that you wouldn't be able to say no to my mom. I guess that when it comes to my mom, you can't act like you're better than her because you're scared she might make Ken break up with you. Do you really think that's the reason why I couldn't say no to her? Because that's ridiculous. She wants us to get along, so I agreed to let you borrow the dress in the hope that we could. Clearly, I was wrong, and we were talking about your attitude, not about my relationship with your mother. Please stop changing the topic. This is why old women are so annoying. That's enough. Stop being so childish. I am surprised that my brother even agreed to marry someone like you. I thought you looked old when he introduced you to us, but now I know you really are an annoying old woman. Why on earth did he choose you? You say that I'm an old woman, but I'm only one year older than Ken. Does that make him an old man? And how about you? You seem pretty preoccupied with people's age and what they do, but you should keep in mind that you're not that young yourself. What are you talking about? You're old, but I'm still young. But you're already twenty-six, aren't you? You'll be turning thirty in no time. At least I'm still in my twenties. Turning thirty won't change how young I am. That's what I thought too. But according to you, everyone around is secretly laughing and gossiping about our age. So maybe you want to take care as well. Yeah. Well, unlike you, I'm not an old woman, and it'll be a long time before I look like one. So you don't have to worry about me. I'm as young as ever. Oh really? But you don't want to have an old age pregnancy. So I guess that means you'll have to get started soon, or it'll be too late for you. You don't want to end up like me, having kids at thirty-three, do you? Then I wonder what is the best age. You were saying that the best age to get married is between twenty-five and twenty-seven. So I guess you'd want to have children soon after. Yeah, that's right. So what about it? If that's the plan, then you'd better hurry up and find a guy to marry. If you say that women should be married by the time they're twenty-seven, then you're seriously running out of time. What? I don't need you telling me that I can find a guy to marry me whenever I want. I don't even have to look. There are plenty of guys that want to marry a girl like me. Are you sure? I don't remember you having a single boyfriend, and all this time I've been with your brother. I haven't had any boyfriends, but there are like a lot of guys who are interested, and I get asked out all the time. Whenever I'm out with friends, the guys are all over me. You'd never understand that, would you? Since nobody is interested in dating an old woman. 
Then why don't you go out with them? Don't you want to get married soon? Um, because I have standards. I have high expectations from a guy who wants to date me. I'm not going to date someone's scruffy old guy off the street. I need to find somebody who deserves to date me. But that's obviously going to be difficult since I'm so pretty and smart. So what kind of person would they have to be for you to want to date them? Who would be so worthy? Well, he'd have to be handsome and definitely tall. I can't stand with a man that's shorter than me. That would be so embarrassing. He's got to have graduated from college, preferably one of the top universities in the country, and he's got to be rich. Good luck with that. Maybe you're the one that needs a reality check. What? Why? What are you trying to say? I'm telling you, you need to snap back to reality. Do you really think that a perfect guy like that exists? Even if he did, why would he choose you? Do you really think anyone would want to marry you when you behave like that? Are you blind? I'm cute. There's no reason why anybody wouldn't want to date me. Unlike you, I was super popular with the boys in high school. You're just saying all of this because you're jealous of me? You wouldn't understand what it's like because the only person willing to date you was my brother. You're right. I don't understand what it's like to be popular. And I was lucky to meet your brother. But I think I understand the reason why you don't have a boyfriend and haven't had one for a long time. What did you just say? Your horrible taste in fashion could still be considered cute if you weren't so judgmental and insulting about other people's appearances. Not only that, you go out of your way to point out other people's weaknesses, to make comments and hit them right where it hurts. You like to belittle other people just to soothe your inferiority complex. Why on earth would anyone love you? Why on earth would anyone want to spend the rest of their life with you? Shut up! Shut up, you old ugly woman. That's none of your business. You're already 26 and you're still acting out. I think guys would expect more maturity from a woman in their late 20s. Shut up or I'll rip your stupid dress up and throw it out with my garbage. If you do, I'll be charging you for it. By the way, the only reason you were popular in high school was because you had a cute face. That doesn't say anything about the real you. So what if it was just my face? I'm cute cuter than you and everyone else and that's all that matters when you become an adult it's not just about appearances no matter how pretty you are your lack of decent personality and attitude is enough to put off any guy and it's starting to make a mark on your cute face what what is your bad personality is starting to show on your face even your brother mentioned to me that you look older than I do before making horrible comments about how other people look. Perhaps you should look at yourself in the mirror properly. After enduring years of Carolyn's grievances, Elizabeth finally managed to flip the script and give Carolyn a taste of her own medicine. Elizabeth's long-held frustration was unleashed, putting an end to Carolyn's bothersome antics. As it turned out, Carolyn had been concealing Elizabeth's dress after staining it at the wedding. Carolyn's mother discovered it tucked away, and when Elizabeth sought assistance in locating it, Carolyn's attempt to play innocent fell flat. She had to compensate Elizabeth for the dress, initially refusing, but eventually relenting under the pressure from her infuriated parents and brother, using her own savings. Following their confrontation, Carolyn seemed visibly affected by Elizabeth's words, and took to attending speed dating parties in pursuit of potential partners. Unfortunately for Carolyn, her popularity at these events were anything but impressive. Despite participating in 30 different parties, not a single person she spoke to extended an invitation for a date. It appears that Carolyn's quest for the perfect man might be a long one. Good luck!